Hello all, welcome to TechTapture. So in this video, we are going to see how we can SSH into private EC2 instance. So in our previous videos, we already seen how we can create our EC2 instance, how we can SSH into it, how we can deploy a simple web application, how we can create our Windows EC2 instance. So all the basic stuff we already seen. Now in this video, we'll go one step ahead and we'll create one private EC2 instance. So almost all the organization while working on the production, they do not have option to use a public IP address or it is not recommended as a security best practice to use a public IP address it is also a security risk as well as the public IP address with elastic IP will cost you more so then if we are creating the EC2 instances with a private IP only then how we can SSH into that EC2 instance what option we have to use that we are going to see in this video so let me show you what we are going to do this in video so first i'll create a one vpc with public and private subnet i'm not going to use a default vpc here so i'll create my own vpc with public and private subnet and require root table then i'll create one basic configuration ec2 instance then i'll add a required security group to allow traffic on port 22 and then i'll try to ssh into at least so here definitely i'll get an error so based on that error I'll just troubleshoot that or I will look for alternative option so we can SSH into a private EC2 instance okay so let me go to the cloud console and let's start with our demo so I am in my EC2 instance page so this is my actually this is my cloud console home so I can go to EC2 from either search or you already have in recently visited so I'll go to EC2 from here and I will check for a running instances so I am using the Mumbai region AP South 1 so definitely I feel there is nothing running at the moment and there should be a zero instances running in my region so let me open the running instance page and currently you can see no matching instances found so I will launch instance here but before that I have to create a VPC so let me open a new tab and let me create a VPC so we'll go to a VPC so I'm not going to use the default VPC so we'll get a complete understanding of this demo how we can use a networking feature to use our EC2 instance with a private IP so I'll go to VPC page so currently here is only one default VPC so I'll create new VPC and I will use this quick method so I'll create VPC and more so I don't need a four subnets here okay so I'll just go with the two subnet one public and one private so the name I'll just give I'll remove this auto generate okay so I'll just write my name as my demo VPC okay and I'll keep this as it is this is my favorite subnet range and AZ I will choose one and the subnet I need one public subnet one private subnet NAT gateway I don't need VPC gateway I don't need now I am just going so you can see demo VPC so VPC is already appended so I'll just remove so now you can see this is my demo VPC then I'll have one public subnet one private subnet you can see one public root table one private root table and then one internet gateway for my public internet your private will have any direct internet connectivity so just take a look here so your private subnet will not have any internet connectivity while your public root table will have a internet gateway and internet connectivity so with this configuration I will go and I will create my VPC so this is a quick way to create your VPC with all required components with subnets with internet gateway and public subnet require root tables all these things it will create within a minute so you can see it is quickly creating and my VPC is created let me view the VPC okay and the resource map so as we checked we are having two subnets public private root table and internet now I'll go and create my EC2 instance in a private subnet and I will not allow any kind of public IP to it so I'll just use a private EC2 I will choose default Amazon Linux instance T2 micro which is free tier 
I will go without a key pair okay connection I will network I need to choose my own network so here instead of default I will go with a demo VPC okay and subnet I will go with the private subnet you can see this is a private and at to assign public IP I disabled security group I'll just add private EC2 security group okay and yes I need to allow SSH traffic on port 22 so I'm allowing traffic on port 22 from all the IPs okay so let me just launch my instance Okay, my instance is launched now so let me go to the instance page okay let me just check the running only and private is okay let me just open and I have option here to connect so if I click on connect now you can see there is a error or warning that no public IP before assigned and let me go back to the let me open the new tab okay and if I go to instance this instance okay so here you can see there is no public IP it is having only a private IP it is also not having internet gateway in the subnet the option is no public IP for address so if I go with this method it will not show me address to connect you can see there is no option to connect using EC2 instance connect but now we have option connect using EC2 instance connect browser based client with private IP for address so this is connect using EC2 instance connect endpoint so endpoint we already seen in our networking videos what is endpoint the endpoints are used to interact AWS services with a private network or within a private IPs so this option we can choose but here it is asking to select an endpoint so first we have to create endpoint now before going and create endpoint I want to show you first what is this EC2 instance connect endpoint so we should understand the concept behind it and then we'll go and quickly create our EC2 instance connect endpoint now EC2 instance connect endpoint let's try to understand what is EC2 instance connect endpoint and how it works and allow us to SSH using a private IP and without any internet connectivity so you can see EC2 instance connect endpoint allow to connect securely to an instance from the internet without using the bastion host or requiring that the VPC has direct internet connectivity as we already created our EC2 instance in a private subnet our EC2 instance is not having public IP our subnet is not having direct access to internet gateway okay so this is the best use case we can use and also there is no additional cost for using EC2 instance connect endpoint but we need to understand how it works so EC2 instance connect endpoint is an identity aware TCP proxy so if anyone of you is already worked on Google Cloud you will understand there is a service in Google Cloud that is IAP identity aware proxy same concept used here as well so whenever you want to connect to your EC2 instance without any public IP you can use this identity aware TCP proxy what it will do so it will just create a private tunnel between your a remote system or let's say I'm using my laptop to connect to uh, EC2 instance so it will create a private tunnel between your system to your a VPC so this traffic is authenticated and authorized between your system to your VPC so this is a sample diagram you can see I am at my remote location I'm using my system to connect to the instance which is in my VPC and the private subnet so it will create one private tunnel if we create this endpoint and using this endpoint you will have access to your EC2 within your VPC and private subnet so this is a basic concept behind the EC2 instance connect now let's see how we can use this EC2 instance connect endpoint now let me go to our demo and let's continue further okay so we are here now so let's click on create endpoint so here if you see there is no option to select endpoint because we do not have any endpoint currently so I'll go here a create endpoint and I'll give here my endpoint 
so we require so there are different types but we need EC2 instance connect endpoint so I'll click on this click on this and VPC I will choose my demo VPC because I need it for a my VPC and security group I will choose this security group because it also need a security group I'll choose this security group and subnet I need to choose my private subnet okay so all things are selected so I'll just create an endpoint so it will take around five minutes to be in available stage okay so I'll just pause this video for a couple of minutes and once it is available I'll just resume my video okay now you can see this EC2 instance connect endpoint is available so it took more than five minutes around six minutes it took for me and now let's go here so currently you do not see any endpoint here but now we created so just refresh it and it will automatically to cover endpoint which we just created now let's go and try to connect using this endpoint and let's see if we will connect using our EC2 instance connect endpoint and now you can see we are already within our instance and let me prove that it is not having access to internet okay so it is not having access to internet still we are able to SSH into our EC2 instance which is in a private subnet which is not having a public IP using EC2 instance connect endpoint so hope this is clear now just try it out in your AWS account if you stuck somewhere just let me know in comment section and I'll try to help you out so thank you for watching this video and we'll see you again in another amazing video